How many people would wait two and a half hours for breakfast at a restaurant? And is there any justification I can give you to consider it? Well, in today's video, I'll be looking into Crockett's Breakfast Camp, a restaurant that has high praise and long lines, but does anyone know why? Welcome to Bear Facts, where we explore the Smoky Mountains one bear fact at a time. If you've ever looked at the forums in Gatlinburg, one fact becomes dangerously clear, at least for your waistline. People in the Gatlinburg area love their pancakes. Gatlinburg is unofficially the pancake capital of the country, boasting over 20 different locations in downtown Gatlinburg alone who advertise as having the best breakfast in town or the best pancakes around. With a population less than 4,000 people, how can so many pancake houses survive? And how can any one place stand out from the others? Well, Crockett's has managed to do just that. In this video, I will talk about how Crockett's has distinguished themselves from the crowd. If you haven't ever heard of Crockett's, it's a restaurant in Gatlinburg whose sole purpose is to feed you the most hearty Southern breakfasts in the Tennessee area. Their menu is packed with traditional southern breakfast fare that include the classic biscuit, meat, and protein options from roast beef, bacon, sausage, and eggs. So many eggs. French toast and, of course, pancakes and grits. Their motto is very simple. Load everything with lots of butter and syrup and drown your meal with flavor and tastiness. Before delving too deeply into the menu, I'd like to start with the ambiance. Crockett's is very effective in providing the authentic Southern experience. The restaurant is immersed with images of the South, starting with their roadside sign. When arriving at Crockett's, the first thing you see in the front of the building is a large skillet pan with their name on display. The dark, heavy wooden architecture gives a rustic vibe that carries through the entire building with a large, authentic stone fireplace that welcomes guests as you enter. Everywhere you look are reminders of the past in Crockett's deeply rooted Southern history. Antique firearms and other pieces of the past are on proud display. Homage is given to the history of the Smoky Mountains with newspaper menus and many different kinds of unique wall decorations. But perhaps the most prominent reminder of the past is outside. A large wooden carved statue of David Crockett Mapes is standing proudly outside the entrance. This important figure to the community is a reminder of the hard work and determination of the people who settled in these mountains so many years ago. If you're visiting Crockett's for the first time, you'll notice as with all of the different businesses in the area, parking is extremely limited. Crockett's does have at least one handicapped spot in the front of the building, but parking is extremely limited. So if you are going to Crockett's, you are probably better off making sure that you come during the early, early morning hours or you find a good parking spot at one of the local ramps. Like I said, you will have much better luck parking in one of the paid parking lots down the road. There are several lots pretty close to Crockett's, but they are kind of expensive. 15 to $25 per day and that might be a hefty price if you're just going for breakfast. You can try to snag one of the free parking spots down the road, but like a needle in the haystack, these spots are extremely hard to find. Once you've been seated, you get to browse a pretty extensive breakfast selection. The menus are replica newspaper sheets with genuine articles on one side and the menu on the inside. The choices of food are extensive, but they don't deviate much from the breakfast theme. You can find healthy options, but this is a Southern comfort food restaurant and healthy isn't their priority. There are also some vegetarian options, but once again, we are in the South. Meat is the main course and vegetables are a necessity that are tolerated, but not enforced. 
The South love their butter and bread, so don't be surprised to see the sweet corn fonte added to your dish. This specialty is a slight variation of cornbread that Crockett's includes in their meal platters. The most notable thing I've noticed about the food at Crockett's are the portion sizes. It's hard to leave hungry after eating here. It seems that each menu comes in large or extra large, and the pancakes are thick, very, very thick. They're more of a cake consistency, so if you like your pancakes, then I would consider choosing something else from the menu. The best way to sample as many of Crockett's notable dishes is to try one of the skillet platters. Each skillet has a multitude of side dishes and a sheer volume of food served is not to be taken lightly. You can easily share it with someone as the portion sizes are quite impressive. I personally really enjoyed the French toast. It was extremely thick and moist, just the right amount of butter and maple syrup. But portion size and thick pancakes don't earn a restaurant a two or more hour wait list. It's Crockett's consistency to quality of food, service and offerings are the real key to their success. But waiting two hours for breakfast? You might need much more convincing and rightly so. You're on vacation, why should anyone wait that long for pancakes? So if the lure of tasty large portion size butter cakes can't convince you, then maybe finding a way around the wait would help you make up your mind. So here are some strategies that I would suggest considering if you want to go to Crockett's but you don't like to wait and you want to try to avoid some of the masses of people. The first thing would be to get there when the doors open. Crockett's opens at 7 a.m. They close at 1. So if you're there when the doors open, you might get ahead of the crowd. And keep in mind, this is a vacation resort area and many people like to sleep in on their vacation. If you have a decent relationship with early mornings, go for it. The next thing I would suggest is to make sure that you're there on the weekdays. Avoid any and all weekends, especially a weekend that falls around a holiday of any kind or possible potential holiday-ishness. Weekdays are also hit and miss, especially in the summer and fall during their peak times, but you might luck out here and there. So Crockett's doesn't offer a reservation system. What they do have is a website. And there's two ways of getting on the wait list. One, go online and follow the link on their website and look for the join the wait list link. You can also use your phone, obviously, and get it the same way. Now, I am reluctant to throw this out there too strongly because a lot of the times we've been down there, they're too busy and you can't get through the website and it's very frustrating and you can't get through the phone lines. So sometimes if you're down there, just walk up to the hostess and they will put you on the wait list. You'll get a uh, text on your phone or device and you will be able to follow that link and on the link will pop up your seat number. So this number is going to tell you how many parties are ahead of you, not a estimated time. It's going to be a big number if you are there in a busy time. So do what you should be doing on vacation. Take in the sights. Whether you go right or left from Crockett's, you have actually a lot of options to do. Just walking around the area, you get a taste of the Gatlinburg area. Walk through Ripley's lobby, uh, take a look at some of the shops along the way, or go the other way and you can be in the park, the actual Smoky Mountains Park, within a quarter of a mile. And you can always go ahead and get yourself a coffee. If your wait is that long, there are several places where you can get a cup of coffee as you're walking around. And while you're having your coffee, go walk around the river. It's right around the back end of Crockett's and easy to get to. Hey, 
your time is over and look at that you enjoyed it you got to walk around Gatlinburg you got to see some of the sights it's early enough in the morning it might not have been too crowded in the area so it was actually a fun easy morning and now you're hungry and your table is ready so when you get there enjoy it's actually a pretty good decent meal that you get there I'm not gonna say it's for everyone because some people are not breakfast people and some people like healthier options and like I said earlier Crockett's is not known for their super healthy dishes but if you're in the mood for a deep southern dish this is the place to be so as Crockett's worth the wait I can only say that my personal experience has been positive and if you're a big breakfast buff, I would suggest putting them on your to-do list. However, this is your vacation and your time is valuable. If you do not have a way or time to use to waste on waiting, if there is a wait, then there are so many other wonderful dining options and things to do down there. Crockett's is great and all, but you have to consider what's going to work for you and whether or not it's worth the investment in your time. As always, I hope you've enjoyed my video and have found some useful information for your planned trip to Gatlinburg. If you have any questions or would like to make any comments, I appreciate any thoughts that you have on my videos. And as always, click like or subscribe to my channel so that I can find more fun ways to explore the Smoky Mountains with all of you.